Welcome to TechGrill. In this video, we're going to be checking out this plugin called Crew HRM. HRM, if you don't know, it stands for Human Resource Management. So this is a fairly new plugin and we're going to see how you can create a careers page on your website and you can simplify your hiring process within your WordPress site. So let's get started. So here I have a fresh new installation of WordPress ready. Let's get started by installing the plugin. So go into plugins, add new, and we're going to search for Crew HRM, which stands for Human Resource Management. Right, so this right here is the plugin, only 80 plus active installations. Let's go ahead and let's install it. Once installed, let's activate it. You can see right there, online job boards, career pages with job listings, etc, etc. So this right here, there's a pretty clean start screen. So you got your settings, you got your knowledge base, pricing, you can upgrade to pro and obviously you can go to dashboard. So here they've got their newsletter a quick start guide and community whatever we're just going to go to dashboard i do want to go over the settings but you know what actually we'll come back to it later so first things first that we see right here there's the plugins back end so yeah the ui looks pretty clean right so this plugin i think it gives you a page if you go into pages right here you can see we have got this careers page and we'll get back into it later so it just adds a career page around the box, that's all it does. Besides that, everything else, all the magic happens in the back end. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the plugin and then we're going to create a job, you know, set up the form, etc, etc. Then we'll fill out that form and then we'll explore more settings within the plugin. So yeah, let's go into settings, I guess. So within settings, one thing that you got to add, go into company info and, you know, type your heart out about your company. So yeah, I'm going to fill this up, enjoy the montage. Right, so halfway through filling out this form, I just went ahead and I used the fake filler and you know, just filled out this random info. I think it's good enough, whatever. So here, we have our company ready. And please, don't mind the logo. This is the only meme I had in my PC, so yeah, I just used it. Regardless, our company has been set up. Once the changes have been saved, let's go back into settings. And now, I guess let's get started by adding our first job post. So go into dashboard and we're gonna click on create a new job. And now we can fill this out. So maybe a video editor, why not? Select the department. You can actually add departments as well. So I'm going to add a new department right here and call it marketing because why not? Let's add it. I think I'm going to keep it 101. Edit videos come in front of the camera. Speak and earn money because I think that's the ultimate goal, right? Now within this editor, obviously, you know, you can make things bold, italicize it, whatever, whatever. Go right here, you can change the font size, etc., etc. you know, add bulleting, and you can make it pretty. This is not a good job description, okay? So yeah, just that, employment details, if you want a full-time, part-time, contract, temporary, trainee. I guess we're just gonna put it full-time, and you know, maybe we're looking for five video editors, we can do that. Submission deadline, so what's the month right now? It's July, then I guess let's put August 30, 2024 wait oh you can just use this okay so let's go to 2024 where is it at there it is 2024 august 30. okay there you go experience level intermediate maybe two years i don't know daily weekly monthly bob don't mind the currency i used i don't even know what bob stands for i just used bob maybe fifty thousand bobs because why not that's a lot of bobs Workplace, on-site, fully remote, hybrid. We're going to choose hybrid. And these have already been filled out. I'm going to choose a random country, whatever comes up. Fiji, why not? Next, let's go. So now we have the hiring stages. I guess the first one, instead of screening, we're going to do a first interview. And then after that, instead of assessment, I guess we're going to give them an assignment, you know, to see how well they perform, you know, how well they can edit a video. And then we're going to do a second round of interview. So we're going to call this second interview. And then we'll just make an offer. We'll leave it at that. You can add new stages if you want to. You can remove any of them if you don't want to. So yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm going to delete this as well. And now these are the form fields. You got your name, address, mobile number, and email. Now these are required by default. You cannot turn these off. But besides this, you can ask them for the resume, make it required, a cover letter, you can make this thing required as well. If you want to add date of birth and gender, then you can do that. But you know, whatever. We'll just let this one slide. I'm gonna publish this, and there you go, the job has been published. So I guess let's view the job first. There you go, video editor about the company. So this is why I asked you to set up your company before because you know, this information will be showed in your job applications basically. So yeah, marketing, video editor, looks pretty good. And when someone goes to apply, then you know, then they can fill this form out. It's a multi-step form. So you got your personal information, then you got your documents. So yeah, this looks pretty good. Now let's go back. 
Let's see what we can do with this form. If we go into settings, I saw a setting right here. Job listing page, was it? Yes, it was. Job post per page 20, segmented form, or you can turn this into a single form. Let's see what the single form looks like. All right, there you go. Just everything in a single place. I think I like the segmented form, so I'm going to keep it at that. If you have a different careers page, you can assign that page right here as well. Like suppose I want my home to be my career page. I don't know why I would want that, but yeah, I can make it. So whatever page I have, it's all going to be shown right here and I can choose that page. So this is pretty good. So careers page, it's fine. We're going to save the changes and now we're going to go back. So here you've got another option, your outgoing email. Application received confirmation email to applicants. So right now I'm using a test site, so I probably won't get an email, but right about now, what I'm going to do is I'll pop up a screenshot of when an applicant fills out the form, the mail that they'll receive. You can see it right there. So if you upgrade to their pro version, then you'll unlock other like 10 different kinds of emails like hiring stage progress, application stage change, etc. And if you don't want this email either, then you can turn this off. I guess it's better if you turn it on, right? So I'm just going to save the changes. I don't see an option to change the message content. So I guess the mail your applicants will receive will be whatever is set within the plugin. But yeah, I guess you can change that in a premium version. I could be wrong though. So let's go into files and attachments. And even for this, you're going to need to upgrade to the pro version. So I guess currently you can use PDF and JPEG from what I can see right here. So yeah, that's all right. PDF and JPEG it is, which should be enough for the most basic purpose. But yeah, we got that. So yeah, now with an employee, you got your default working hours. So I guess Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So it's a 10 to 5. And yeah, if you want to add some default leaves, you can do that, I guess. If you want to add any sort of benefits, you can do that as well. But we're not going to get into leaves and benefits and other things because this video, I wanted to be solely focused on hiring, your careers page, job listing, etc. So I'm just going to save the changes. And yeah, now if we go back into settings, you got your company info, you got your departments that you can set. And what else do we have? You have your integrations for Google Meet and Zoom, but these are only available in the premium version. So if you want to schedule calls within your WordPress site, I guess you'll be able to do that using the Google Meet or the Zoom integration, which is pretty handy. But yeah, besides that now, if you go into employees, so suppose someone fills it out, uh, let me fill out the form real quick and then I'll show you what that looks like. For this, I'm going to use a new private window, open this up and I'll just use the fake filler to fill out a few information. What is this? It's the postal code, I guess. Okay. That country, Andorra, why not? Phone number, just a random number, email. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna try and see if I get the mail. Right, for this one, I'm gonna use a temp mail, save and continue. And now I guess you can upload your resume. So a random PDF that I might have. Upload, okay, there's a size limit. I guess I can also upload a JPEG, so it should be fine. Let's see, will this work? All right, so there you go. I have a PDF file that I just uploaded, a random one, and here I can type out my cover letter. I thought I was gonna have to upload my cover letter, but you know, you can type it out, I guess. Sure. Now, if we submit the application, there you go. The application has been submitted. Now, if we go into temp mail, let's see if we get an email. Yeah, while the email is coming up, I guess let's go ahead. Let's look what it's going to look like in the back end. So we should have the entry. True HRM, if we go into employees, I guess. No, okay, all job posts, we might have it here. So here we have our first candidate. If we're gonna review this, I guess, yep, this is the one. You got your cover letter, you got your resume. If you go into activity, then apply three hours from now. Don't know why it says three hours from now. I think it's probably because this plugin takes the time of your site. For which you can like go into settings and you can set your website's time. And then I think this is going to be fixed. But yeah, you got your activity right here. So now what you can do is you can move them to first interview. So suppose we're going to take their first interview. Click on yes. So you send out an email. You guys fix up your first interview. Then, you know, you got your first interview. Now first interview was done. The client looks all right. Then now guess what you do? You move them to the assignment phase. So now you've given them an assignment and all the activity is going to be tracked right here. And if everything is good, I guess you can make them an offer after the second interview and once you make an offer if they take it i guess you can make them hired and once they have been hired they should show up with an employees right no they still don't right so they've not been added into the employees list so i think that means you have to add them manually or maybe there's a feature in the pro version where you can do it automatically but as for now you're gonna have to add them manually and also there is other option here for adding an event looking at this icon right here the event page or this event tab is where you schedule calls with them if you want to and within the internal comment you know you can leave an internal comment suppose you take the first interview and someone else is going to check their assignments or take the second interview then you can leave a comment here so that you know they get some heads up 
regarding the person, I guess. So yeah, this is pretty handy. It looks pretty good. And if you want to disqualify them, this button right here sums it up. If you want to delete this candidate, you can delete it. If you want to disqualify them, you can disqualify them as well. And if you want to like manually add in your candidates, you can do that as well. There you go. You're going to have to fill it out yourself though. Okay, I guess. All right, so far so good. We go here with an event calendar. Obviously, it's only available in the pro version, but yeah, you have your calendar here and you can see, you know, the people that you're hiring, when you've scheduled their calls, etc. So this is pretty nice. If we go into add-ons, guess what we have? So yeah, you can enable recapture, which is available in the free version. So that means you don't get any spam entries. So this is pretty neat. And for other five of these add-ons right here, attachment, a custom field, email, Google Meet and Zoom, email communication. So I guess you can send out emails within WordPress. I guess that is what it is. So yes, for this, you'll have to upgrade to their premium version. And yeah, within employees, I guess I kind of forgot to show this. So you can add a new employee. You can add it manually, upload their photo, first name, last name, etc., etc. Yeah, basically fill everything out. Let's fake fill this because why not? Right, so when adding an employee, you can add your employee info, your, their employment status, contract details, benefits, additional options. So yes, basically you can add an employee manually. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I really can't type today. Oh my God. Marketing on site. Continue full time. Currency. Under me contract. Oh, nice. So you can continue. So yeah, you can track more things like you know signing bonuses, etc. That looks pretty neat. You can add custom benefits, custom leaves. Well, that's nice. Save it. Uh, documents, any onboarding documents, and you got more things right here. Just gonna click on save and continue, and my employee has now been added. There you go, active. And you know, if they leave the company, I guess you can edit it, you can change their status, etc. So yeah, this looks pretty good. A simple plugin, straightforward, easy to use. The UI looks pretty clean. So yes, in the front end as well, you know, everything just shows up nicely as it's supposed to. And they apply the form, the form design. I really like the form design as well. So yes, my review of the plugin, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Because you know, a lot of things could be added. But then again, I'm not using the premium version. I'm using the free version. So I guess I really can't ask for much. But yeah, 7.5 out of 10. That's my review of the Crew HRM plugin. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to Tech Grill, and I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care.